we need to be getting on with this really and companies like ours have a, have a big role to play. Creating clean energy from the coal mines is something quite significant. There's an awful lot of the industrial space in the northeast of England particularly that's over flooded mines. I think people are really excited at the prospect of something coming from the history that they helped create. Coal is the largest single source of CO2 emissions in the world. And whilst internationally coal is still king, here in the UK that picture is changing. Here, coal production has fallen by 94% in the last 10 years. So what happens when the coal mines that used to power our cities are no longer used? We are in the industrial north. We are about as far sort of in nor northeast as, as you can go. And coal mining was absolutely essential. It was a major part of, of industry here. This is around the site of the Dorden Colliery, which closed in 1991. It provided in its time in one of the main employment sources for the area. The mines were pumped to be dry um, while they were actually used. As the mines were closed, those pumps have been switched off and then water has resurfaced and gone through the infrastructure of the mines. So one of the things about the water that is sitting in that, that coal mining infrastructure is it has been geothermally heated by the rocks around it. But what we've done here is the, the water that comes up to surface here is about 20 degrees. Um, and what we've been doing for over a decade here is using that um, as a main source of heating for the offices um, and the working areas within the mine water treatment scheme. There are some slight variations, but this is broadly how it works. The disused mine floods with groundwater and the natural heat of the rocks warms this water to around 20 degrees C. The water is then pumped to the surface and passes through a heat exchanger where the heat is extracted and transferred to a separate circuit of water that can warm homes and buildings. One company that's put this into practice is Lanchester Wines. Adam, nice to meet you. This warehouse is actually heated using the flooded mine water underneath it, using a heat pump system. This is supermarket wine, uh, a lot of it, so it needs to be kept at sort of an ambient temperature. It's going to be drunk in the next few months. and so. That's one of the biggest expenses for our business is we've got about a million square foot of warehouse and you have to keep that at an ambient temperature. And here is where it all happens. There is a wondrous heat pump. We started our journey to carbon neutral in 2012. We started with wind turbines and very quickly we had to move on to heating. And so really it was a case of looking at what our options were. Um, and we were quite fortunate with this warehouse. But then many of the warehouses in the northeast of England are over flooded mine workings. Um, but the flooded mine workings are only about 80 metres down here. And I wanted to ask, what, what's the sort of driver for doing this? Because obviously, you know, it takes a lot of, a lot of effort, a lot of research, a bit of investment as well to get going. Why, uh, why did you decide to, to pursue this heating route? Uh, well, we've, we've made it part of the company's strategy, part of their competitive strategy, really, that um, we want to attract our customers because we're a carbon neutral step. It's really become part of what the company's uh, outlook is, is all about. When you're pioneering a new technology, there is problems. It sounds relatively simple to pump the water out of the mines, take the heat out of it and put it back. Our biggest problem probably is ochre, which is a contaminant in the mine water. Um, and that just clogs things up all the time. And, 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 and finding technologies to deal with that, we're still on with that really. The nice thing about, um, uh, about a heat pump is that all the technology already exists. You can buy most of the components off the shelf and this is just putting it together in a different way. The UK is not the only place pushing forward with this technology. The Netherlands is using its old mine water to heat and cool homes, offices, shops and more. And this could be just the beginning. How does it feel to take a historic technology that has in some ways played a part in the climate crisis and turn that around and find a new uh, use for it? So I think it's quite amazing for everybody that's involved in this because I think not only are you repurposing something and potentially providing economic regeneration and green jobs back into those areas that were associated with coal mining but actually creating clean energy from the coal mines 
In the UK, we have got over 30,000 old mines. Now, not all of them can be used because there's different forms of mining, there's different geology around them, but the potential for the UK is incredible. It's an enormous heat resource down under the ground, and these flooded mines in most places are a problem, you know, they need dealing with anyway. I have high hopes for this technology over the next few years um, as the companies develop that can service these things and make it a little bit less of a, of a sort of pioneering project and more like a normal heating system. But I think that will come because the resource is there. A quarter of homes in the UK sit above old coal fields and nine out of ten of the UK's major urban centres are in former mining areas. And while many of these mines won't be producing coal anymore, it seems we may not be quite done with them just yet.